What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the boxing clinic. Like I told you guys, we try to cover the board and back on his music tip. And Nipsey Hustle, you know, a West Coast rapper out of California, um, inform people how much artists receive per million per stream on music channels such as Apple, Tidal, and uh, Spotify, and the rest of them. And, um, you know, we're going to look at it in a minute what he put out there on social media. But in a music game, a lot of people believe these music people are, are, are rich, which I may get into a video tomorrow on if you if you guys want to know a little inside business about the music game. Everybody want to be a rapper, a singer, and all that other stuff, but it's not a glamorous life, you know. And they don't, well, as far as not a glamorous financial, financially-wise, a, a glamorous life like most people believe. Um, and, and record label has to fund a lot of money, but... You know, with this new streaming, I heard say a lot of people say streaming actually saved the industry. And, um, you know, because people's bootlegging, you know, CDs and CDs weren't selling because music was so accessible with YouTube and everything else. But this was what Nipsey Hussle tweeted out today. Attention everywhere. A million streams on YouTube get you $690. A million streams on Spotify, $4,370. A million streams on Apple Music, $7,350. A um, million streams on Tidal, $12,500. Million streams on Apple Mu on Amazon Music, four thousand, a little bit over that. It said, don't shoot the messenger. Sign up for title, and um, you know that's crazy. I don't know if it's a million stream per song. I guess per song. That's what it had to be a per song per album. I don't know. I guess per single it has to be because a uh, Lil Uzi XO thing did a lot of money, did a lot of numbers, and I guess um, you know per song. I mean that's pretty good. You know um. And if you want to support the artist in the perfect way, you will sign up for title, you know, and, um, you know, that's, that's money that these guys need royalties and money coming in, um, because they don't make a lot of money, you know, and I want to give away the video I'm going to do later on today, but, uh, you know, um, you just see the difference, man. It's a big difference. And, you know, people been getting jobs in the music industry for, for years because people want to think everything is glamorous. Everything is cool. I mean, you go from groups from new edition to TLC. A lot of different groups, you know, and they don't know the business wise and the business you get played. And um, obviously, you know, him putting this out there and making other artists aware of what you can make by having your music on the right streaming service is huge. You know, that's that, that, that all matters. You know, and that's why a lot, you know, Jay-Z pulled this music off of everything but title, you know, and you can't find a Prince song on YouTube because now they turn the YouTube into MP3. Now artists are aware that their singles are getting out there. And, and in technology, it's a yin and yang thing. You know, technology could be the greatest thing, but it can destroy and take away jobs and destroy things. And it has destroyed the music industry as far as record sales and CD sales and stuff of that nature. So somebody created another avenue of streaming for artists to get paid. And, um, you know, they offer free services or low paying services and they can put ads on there. And that's how they get the money. You know, not just the subscription that you're paying, but ads on Apple Music or ads on Spotify and t Tidal. So that's why you see ads on apps and stuff of that nature. Um, that's the other revenue coming in. But Tidal has a big discrepancy above all of them, you know. And um, it's four times what Apple Music is, or well, about the same four times that Apple and Spotify is. And, um, you know, a little bit, almost double what Apple is. And <laughs> You know, when it's talk about YouTube, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy discrepancy, and hopefully artists take note and take their music off of the other ones until they try to come closer or match what Tidal doing out here. Because music business is a dirty game, man. It's very dirty. And uh, you need every dollar you get because they come and recoup their money that they fronted to you for your first album. And a lot of guys, you know, a lot of people in the music industry don't don't uh, make money until later albums. So that's why it pays to be an engineer, a producer, a songwriter. Those are what pay. Because they get paid. They don't have to pay for the sessions and stuff of that nature. I'm not giving out too much. But, uh, you know, Nipsey Hustle dropping knowledge right here for these artists. And uh, let the fans know where to go signed up. And if you really, really, you know, support these people crafts. And um, a lot of people hustle every day to be in a music game. But it's not it's not what it seems, you know. And when they get there, they're like, man, it really ain't what it seems, man. It's a lot of force against will. It's a lot of recouping of money. It's a lot of being a job. I heard many, many stories about people being broke on the road, having to call family for money. And, you know, it's different. It's definitely different. So you need every dollar. And royalty checks don't come out like that, man. I, I, I can tell you by every interview I done heard, 
about P. Diddy and, and the rest of these guys who ain't feeding people out here, man, be a very wealthy man myself. You know, so, you know, even your own kind is doing you dirty, you know. And um, it's a music biz for you. So I might get into a POV video later on today about the music biz. Drop the rest of these three videos I got tonight. So be on the lookout early in the morning grind. Y'all know what it is. It's the Boston Clinic we always own. We gonna...